Hi there, my name is Dr. Suresh Bhatna and did you know that up to 80% of women develop fibroids by the age of 50? That's a staggering number but there are many ways to alleviate the pain and in this video we're going to be discussing just that. But before we deep dive into this video make sure you smash the subscribe button and also click the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. First things first let's talk about what are fibroids. They are non-cancerous growths that develop in the uterus and can cause discomfort, bleeding and pain in some women. Now let's start with exercise. Not only is it great for your overall health but it can also help reduce the fiber related pain. A study that was published in the Journal of Women's Health found that women who engaged in moderate to high levels of physical activity had a lower risk of developing fibroids. So whether it's a yoga class or run outside or a workout at the gym, find a physical activity that you enjoy doing and also make it regular part of your daily life. Next up let's talk about diet. Eating a healthy diet that's high in fruits, vegetables and whole grains can do wonders for your body. In including reducing fibroid pain. A 2020 study published in the Journal of Women's Health found that women who followed a Mediterranean diet had a lower risk of developing fibroids. So try incorporating more fruits, veggies and whole grains into your diet and get creative with your cooking. Some herbs such as turmeric and ginger have anti-inflammatory properties and can help alleviate fibroid pain. But it's always best to consult with your healthcare provider before taking any herbal supplements because some of these natural therapies can be a game changer for you. So the next time you're in the mood for a warm cup of tea, consider natural remedies like turmeric or ginger tea. Your body will thank you. Last but not least, let's talk about acupuncture. Yes, you heard that right. This ancient practice can help reduce fibroid pain. A 2020 systematic review published in the Journal of Complementary Therapies in Medicine found that acupuncture was effective in reducing the pain associated with fibroids by a large degree. So if you're open to trying something new, give acupuncture a try. It could be the natural pain relief that you've been searching for. There you have it. These are some of the natural ways of how you can elevate fibroid pain. Remember, fibroids are a very common issue among women, but that doesn't mean that you have to suffer in silence. With all of these natural remedies, you can elevate the pain and get back to feeling like yourself again. That's it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like and share this with your friends and colleagues and also subscribe to my channel for more such videos. See you and have a lovely day.